right, ladies and gentlemen, these last two amateur fights are title fights. We've got the 145 featherweight championship defense. They're defending their title. And the 125, that's a flyweight. They're also defending their title. Both of those titles are, dra they're defending their Dragon House amateur belt. Dragon House, of course, the street, the school right down the street now. Uh, and we've also got three professional title fights. So don't leave even if your guys have already fought. We've got three pro title fights coming up after these two title fights. So for the featherweight championship defense, the champion, Andrew Campos. And the challenger, Ramon Cornejo. But you most certainly have fought in Kizar Stadium. Yes, Kizar for sure, twice. Most recently, uh, about a month ago? Uh, May. May. So, three months ago, two months ago, three months ago. Mountain show support and, you know, like, you know, things of that nature, but that makes me more nervous almost. Oh, absolutely. It's almost like there's more on the line, like, yeah, I don't. I, I would prefer. I if, prefer far away. If I'm yeah. at a casino, 200 miles away. And you don't know anybody. Nobody knows you. And you so know, if you're watching live, you're watching the live. If you're not, I don't know. <laughs> I know you're not in the crowd. That's for sure, though. Once again, this is a title defense. In the blue corner, challenging for the featherweight championship, he's 21 years old and fights for Castro MMA out of Patterson and Tracy, California. His record is seven and one as an amateur. He is El Toro Ramon Cornejo. In the red corner, the champion, undefeated as an amateur with a record of 3-0. He's 23 years old and fights out of San Jose. He is Andrew the Alchemist Campos. All right, we got Campos and El Toro. Let's see if uh, Campos can uh, be at the Matador today and uh, come away with his belt, or if El Toro's just too much. Cornejo, our champion, undefeated with a record of three wins and no losses. The challenger, Andrew Campos, many more fights. He is seven and one. Six of those wins coming by way of decision, one by submission. Oh, right away, a big knockout. Excuse me, knockdown. And El Toro looking to get the takedown. Looking to suck out those hips. So far doing a nice job defending the takedown by stuffing the head, although he is inching closer to the ground. His legs are now in the possession. Yeah, but he's keeping a good C grip on that neck. incredibly hard to finish a takedown with all that pressure on your head. Yeah, well, he looked like he finally got it. And takes Total the position. back as well. Throwing some shots is El Toro. For a big lift. 
Cornejo most recently fought down in the Central Valley at 559 fights just two weeks ago, July 29th. Oh, wow. He was the winner by unanimous decision. Talk about a quick turnaround. Looking to stay as active as he can, even though he was preparing for this title fight all these months. Campos's last fight was May 20th at the aforementioned venue, Kizar Pavilion. How has he uh, won all of his fights? Uh, Cornejo currently, excuse me, Campos currently 3-0, two coming by way of decision, but his second fight just lasted 17 seconds. He was the winner by TKO oh, wow. in the first round. It was over Brandon Rivera at the Central Coast Fighting Championship about six weeks ago. Oh, nice sweep of the leg, straight into mount. Looking to take the back now. He's trying to get one hook in. He's got to get that other underhook. Yep, there we go. Campos, our champion, looking to fight the hands. Yeah, but he's got his neck up and out. Very just exposed. waiting to be snatched. I would tuck that thing if I was him. Cornejo making the mistake that no grappler should make while in back mount. His ankles are crossed. Yeah, he could cross. Cornejo can... Uh... Wide open for a, a leg lock there. And this fight will see a second round of a possible three. Round number two is officially underway in this 145 pound title fight. Oh, jump in the back. Immediately takes the back, does our champion Campos. And he's, he's, up, he's up there. That was a very smooth transition. I feel like this position right here is more exerting for Campos. Trying to keep those legs working and tight. Yeah. on uh, El Toro's lower body. Campos just readjusted, now has both hooks in. Uh, once again, making the mistake previously made with the ankles crossed, although it's not as bad a position when you're Standing, up. yeah. But ideally, you want to be on body lock if you're going to be on the back like that, standing. Our champion, Andrew Campos, wearing the purple trunks. His opponent, Cornejo, the challenger in the black and red. Some nice right hands landing from the back. One of those, one, use one of those to sneak in the underhook, uh, not the underhook, but the, uh, yep. The oh, choke. looking for the choke. Well, and he's under, and the, under the neck. The neck. Oh, that's a tight that, choke. Oh, he raises it up. Yep. And narrowly escapes the choke, does the challenger. But that's what I was just saying. Keep striking and then use one of those strikes to sneak under the oh, neck. Oh, it's tight this time. Oh, that one's... Very tight. That one's a good one. And it gets tighter by the second, although he slips out once again. You got to remember, for every failed submission attempt, those uh, forearms and shoulders... Start burning heavy. Burning those legs are heavy. burning heavy, too. Well, if this fight does see a third and final round, I would say they're pretty even at one apiece. Very nice job defending the takedown by the champion. Although the challenger very persistent to get it. If I'm Campos, I'm looking to get an underhook with my right arm. 
lift it up. Or maybe at this point, I don't even need the underhook, but just switch my hips so that our hips aren't uh, hip to hip. Ten seconds remain, and this fight will see a third and final round, David. Very, very tough round to call, although I would give it to the champion, Andrew Campos, just due to control time yeah. on the back. Which is the same reason I would give the first round to the challenger, Cornejo. Yeah. This is definitely a close fight. Experienced uh, or not. And there are just three men left in the cage, the third of whom is our referee here to start off our third and final round of this featherweight title fight. It all comes down to round three. Brought to you, of course, by MMA Raw, ExecuShield. Stream made possible by BrightPathVideo.com. And Campos is looking to keep the intensity that he had in that second round going by pressuring him, but a little too overzealous. Now Toro has him against the cage. Yeah, so far Cornejo taking control of the cage very early on in the third round, which is on, on paper winning the round. Does he have those hands locked? Yep, now he's gonna look to take him down. Maybe get a little lift, oh, not, just squeeze, and then kind of squeeze. And now looking to take the back. Got one hook. Oh, but Campos is keen to it. Nice transition. Does a good job shrimping out, does Campos. Campos looking to reverse the position and find a takedown of his own here. Yeah, but he's got to stand up more than anything. This isn't a good position for him to be in. He's got to stand up and keep the fight standing up. Yeah. If he wants to win this fight. Beautiful transition. The challenger once again takes the back. Big knees to the legs. Those do not feel comfortable. Those were right behind the kneecap, straight to the calf, for the IT band. And not only are they painful, but they make it incredibly difficult to stand up and continue working towards a victory. Some quick dead legs. Oh, big knee to the body by Campos. Oh. Now looking oh. for a submission. He's got a guillotine oh. locked up tight. And slips out. However brief, that guillotine was very, very tight around the neck of the challenger. Demon. Yeah, if he was able to log his legs up, I'm almost positive he would have got that finish. Best time to be caught in a guillotine is the last round of a fight when both men are sweaty and slippery. That's how we like it. <laughs> and this second of a total of five title fights here, also brought to you by the Academy Barber College. First title fight of five. First title fight of five. One of the best haircuts in the North Bay and all of the Bay Area is the Academy Barber College. Right down the street on Geneva Avenue in San Francisco. Very random. <laughs> Somebody work there? Uh, they sponsor us. Oh, they do? Oh. Sure do. oh, well, thank you very much. And this fight is officially completed. Both fighters will go the distance and a new champion will possibly be crowned. Andrew Campos and Ramon Cornejo. Yeah, honestly, Cornejo with his uh, presence and pressure in that third round might have edged it out for him. I don't think that uh, Campos did enough if it was in, in fact going uh, into that third run 1-1. But I don't see it any other way. Yeah, if I was a judge, which I am not, I would give it 29-28 to the challenger, Cornejo. And here to crown 
the champion is the voice of the cage, John Rayhoy. Joined by promoter Zong Lo, who holds in his hands a shiny gold belt befitting a champion. Ladies and gentlemen, our uh, judges have rendered another unanimous decision. All three judges scored the fight 29 to 28 in favor of the winner. And new Dragon House featherweight champion, Ramon Il Toro Cornejo. And Ramon Cornejo is now eight and one in his nine amateur MMA fights, and he's got a new championship belt. Hard fought three rounds for both men.